did not uh, didn't keep it because I wanted to have this as part of the stream. Just some gold in this chest, uh, but I'm still going to head up. I believe I am going to have to come back here once I have the Mystic Key because there's some new treasures. Yeah, this is a battle that's going to be down here, the um, Ambushed by the Shadows battle. And I believe these are normally um, an enemy from later in the game, uh, maybe around the Earth Cave rather than around the Marsh Cave, although I might have that wrong. But I believe these are an enemy around Melmon, because actually they're kind of a refreshing enemy because they're not as uh, as threatening as some of the other undead encounters because they give you darkness status rather than the, the stun status. They're not like the ghosts later on. But thankfully, we got through that one okay. All of these statuses, except for poison and stone, are healed at the end of battle, so stun, darkness, mute status. Don't have to worry about those once we leave battle. Here's another similar battle. The images have the stun attack. The shadows, I believe, have the darkness attack. Not even, I believe. I, I know it's the shadows that have the darkness attack. But so far, pretty good luck on the encounters. Uh, I am planning on coming out of the dungeon and saving before we head downstairs um, in the southern part of the dungeon, although I haven't really been through this dungeon, so I'm not sure what the layout's going to look like. These will have to be explored as if for the first time, but I think if my character levels where they are, I shouldn't have too much trouble, because I can fight battles like this uh, without having to use any magic charges and without really taking very much damage. And I have a full stock of heal potions, plenty of money, so the only um, threat down here would be if something has instant death attacks, which I, I believe the boss guarding the treasure that I need at the bottom of this does have some sorcerers in it, so they will probably nerf a character or two with their um, touch attacks, with their touch death attacks. This is actually a rather nice fight. Because these guys can't do very much damage, but they'll give me a really nice reward in experience and gold. You can see they have status attack as well. Inflicting darkness status there. I just... One round the uh, green ogres first, and now I'll one round the ogre ogres. And let's take a look at the, the readout. 269 and 1120 gold. It's a pretty nice piece. Copper bracelet. Let me see. I don't believe that's better than what I have for my mages. Let me check, though. Easy. Uh, so he has 18 and 47. And it's now 12 and 61, so quite a bit more on the Evade, but a lot less on the Absorb. And I think I'm going to take Absorb over Evade. At least for now, I'll take Absorb over Evade. If it was one point, it would be a different story, but uh, that's pretty significant. Scorpion, this is, uh, I think, a first... I think this is the first time I've seen this particular enemy. I'm going to be capturing some screenshots because I'm kind of tweeting my way through this game on my active underscore eight Twitter account. I'm uh, tweeting pictures of the various abnormalities I run into. Alright, nice chunk of cash. And I need to be very thorough about this to make sure I don't miss anything in the newly redesigned dungeon. The newly redesigned marsh cave here. So I want to be very, very certain that I've cleared this floor out before I leave. So 
So you will see me capture some uh, screenshots there. Is this a spiked battle? This might be a spiked battle. Let's see if I can take out the hyena in one round. Oh, not quite enough for that green ogre. I'm hoping for a nice crit to take out a green ogre. I actually didn't get a crit on either of them. Too bad. At least we got our hyena. Well, now we can hopefully get everything. There's the crit that I wanted in round one. And there's a one hit on the other hyena by a red mage. Let's see if this one gets a crit. <laughs> he gets a crit as well. Again, that's the crit that I would have liked to have had on round one. Silver dagger. I don't think that's going to be an upgrade for anybody. No, I don't think that's going to be an upgrade for anybody. So I think silver dagger is one of the items that you do find here in uh, vanilla, in Final Fantasy vanilla. And is that all on this floor? That must be all on this floor. So, out we go again. I'll save, and then we'll head to the south of the dungeon here. This is a nasty battle. This is a... Uh, yeah, kind of an inconvenient battle. We have paralysis attacks being swung around. I'm going to see if I can escape out of this battle. I think because we are ambushed by necessity, by definition, it is a runnable battle because I believe, uh, and I don't think that's been changed in this version, that uh, a spider ran away. There we go. So we actually see the enemies starting to run away a little bit from us because of our level. But I, I believe that battles that are unrunnable, you can neither strike first nor have a back attack on ones that are unrunnable. And of course, in this version, it lets you know at the beginning if there's no escape. But, um, yeah, for any FF Vanilla fans, if a battle is uh, unrunnable, then it's impossible to have it be a strike first or back attack. So bosses, you'll notice you will never get a preemptive or back attack on bosses in Final Fantasy 1, and that includes a lot of spiked square bosses, like the wizards down here in the Marsh Cave. Alright, so we are saved with all of the treasure from the north side of the dungeon in tow. It's actually pretty painless. Uh, and this battle is going to be... quite below our level, but they're still going to be stunning us, which is sad. Because I don't think your levels overcome statuses like in Final Fantasy V. Yeah, sadly, I don't believe that uh, gaining levels will block statuses. Just not part of the calculation in this game. Nor is it part of the calculation in Final Fantasy Vanilla in the NES release. Just a straight up chance to hit and inflict a status. I'm not using the dash down here in the dungeons, just so that... Uh, Viewers can see a better lookout, a better look at the layout, I should say. Better lookout of the layout. What was? Alright, so again, I'm going to have to work very carefully through this floor as it's been... The layout's been changed on me. Let's see if I can do it. The bones have been buffed up significantly. They no longer have 10 hit points, as you can see by that one, eating a 120-point attack and staying alive. I believe in the NES release, they just have 10 hit points. That is not the case here. But uh, yeah, normally in the in vanilla, I don't come back down here with the Mystic Key, even though there are some rooms that are locked with it. Uh, just because there isn't really anything worth coming back for but I don't believe that's going to be the case here. I think there's going to be some treasures that... There might even be a spellcasting item down in here that I will want. 
So this will not be the last time I'm in this dungeon. But now I know it's a copper bracelet over here, so it's not really a, anything that I need, need. I'll sell them for, I think copper bracelets should sell for 500. I have poison. Okay, so there we go. So now if I do happen to get wiped, I'll know I don't really need to come over to the left here. Another um, bone crawl battle. And these were unrunnable on the overworld. I believe these are unrunnable down here, but again, it flashes so quickly. Sometimes I'm not sure if I see it or not. Is there anything up there? Can I go around that? Okay, we can get to this room. Nice chunk of cash there. And I wonder if there's anything way up there. I'm going to try and be sure. Because these battles are, are really not proving to be much of a threat. So I am just going to take the detour up around there to be sure. Probably overly cautious. More than I need to be. But we've got time. So if I continue not having any problems, I may be able to do a nice chunk of the Earth Cave in addition to my treasure collecting mission after the key after the key exchanges. It's gonna take both red mages to kill the bone, and I still have all of my spell charges in the red mages. That it's nice that they do have the offensive power there. They're not as versatile as the uh, as the other mages as the game goes on, but they're really nice to have this part of the game. And I'm sure I'll be regretting at some point taking two red mages. Because I wasn't quite as aware as I should have been before I started the uh, playthrough of this hack. As to what the differences were in how those classes fit together. I thought I was dodging the bats, but not the case. Now the crawls have an ice weakness. But again I don't need to I don't need to use any of my spells. About 94, that's a that's a rough hit. He's got a lot of evade too, or a lot of uh, absorb, sorry. And he needs to be healed because another hit like that could take him out. But I believe that was the bone. I don't think it was the crawl that did that much damage to him. The bones are a little bit like the skeleton warriors in uh, Golden Axe with how, how tough they are. This might sound kind of funky while I use those pure potions in, in rapid succession. Sorry, the heal potions in rapid succession. Okay. No escape from this battle, that's okay. I don't want to escape. Again, I'm going to try to get as much experience as I can while I'm down here. I'm probably still a ways off from a level up, even though I've been fighting a lot of battles. Just because of how high my level is. 154. Maybe before we get to the steps, I'll check to see how close I am to a level up. And this looks like... It will be a trapped square somehow down here, and I think it's some treasure that I missed in that main room, but I'll come back for those when I come back with the key. Let's see if I hit a trapped square here. Well, hard to say if that was a trapped square. Let's see if I can get those crits on the green ogres like I've always wanted. Nope, not on that one. They can crit me though, no problem. Okay, they're only getting two hits on the on them. Should be getting. Do the red mage? Yeah, the red mages do just have. Oh, they should have three hits. Red mages should have three hits. Yep. 
Red mages have three hits, so they just, uh, that hyena must have some evade. The fighters definitely have three hits. So, I'm wondering if that is a spike square, you have to fight a similar battle to that every time. That's okay, because that's not, not, uh, too tough a battle. So, I wouldn't mind fighting that one. This, this floor definitely looks, um, different. I really don't think I've been here before, and these gargoyles can be nasty because they have three hits, but I saw the no escape prompt flash there, so this is going to be an unrunnable battle. But, uh, good thing I can one-shot these guys now, so we shouldn't have to eat too many of their attacks. Of their three-hit attacks, which are, which are nasty, to be sure. No doubt they are a tough enemy. So this is the floor that I'll have to be exploring a little bit more thoroughly, and again, this battle's not going to be worth it for me to fight, I don't think. I'm just going to try to get